Hello guys, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started up the case, but turns out Phoenix has been clonked on the head and now has amnesia. Clonked is totally the legal term, by the way. And now we're trying to defend a girl who we know nothing about in a case we know nothing about, but we're going up against Prosecutor Payne, so... Eh, the... Decks are probably balanced here. Anyways, we are just about to cross-examine Gumshoe and his testimony, Dustin and Maggie. Officer Prince and Officer Bird have been going out for about half a year. How do you know about this? Every year in March, we have a training camp for us cops. Officer Bird was a rookie at the time, and she and Officer Prince seemed to hit it off. They got close, I take it. Actually, I was supposed to go too, but I couldn't pay the deposit for the trip, so I didn't. If only I had gone on that trip. What is it? Oh, uh, nothing, sir. Really. Anyway. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. Marriage? But wasn't the victim eight years older than her? What? You saying a guy's gotta marry someone the same age as himself, pal? No, that's not what I meant at all. Detective Gumshoe and Dustin were only a year apart, you know. Ugh, I think this fella has a ways to go before marriage. Mind your own business, pal. The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. The day of the incident? You mean September 6th? Yeah. The victim, Officer Prince, it just gotten off duty at 5.30 p.m. that day. And since Maggie's night shift hadn't started yet, they went to the park for a bit. I, I remember when I was young and in love. Oh, it was a jolly time. That's great, Your Honor. I'm glad you're such a cheerful old man. Maggie, I mean, Officer Bird, had gotten Officer Prince a present. You seem to know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's, uh, because, uh, I'm a boss. I gotta watch out for my subordinates. But even what she was going to give us a present? Isn't that going a bit too far? Hey, pal, watch what you say. I know everything that happens under me. Someone so much as scratches that. I really don't need to know that much. Mr. Wright, please refrain from battering the witness. I agree. Even if this witness has a crush on the defendant, that should not be the point of discussion at this time. Whoa, wait a second. Why are we talking about this? It's all your fault, pal. You're guilty, guilty, guilty. I should have you arrested. I think the good detective is about done here. It was something she'd gotten over two months ago. I'm looking over at the Audacity file for when I do Gumshoe's voice, and it is just off the chain. I am totally going to have to turn it down a bunch in uh, in editing. Over two months ago. Yep, she's a very considerate woman, pal. So, when, what was this birthday present? She got him a glove. A single glove? Why would she only give him one? Um, actually, your honor, the glove in question is your baseball glove. Oh, I see. A baseball glove. Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. A uh, baseball glove, hmm? Press further. Let me know if that relaxed gumshoe voice that I've been doing for the past couple lines sounds good at all, because if it sounds way too not very... if it, Because if it sounds not gumshoey enough, I guess, then I'll go back to being over-the-top gumshoe. Just now, I believe you said that the present was something she had gotten over two months ago? Yeah. Are you saying she went out and bought the glove over two months ago? Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Custom made? The glove was custom made? Yup, that's what I said. Hmm, so the glove was custom made. Your Honor, I really don't see how this glove is related to this case. Yes, it would seem that there is little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think this glove is really relevant to the case? Of course it's relevant. I don't know where this will lead me, but... 
Of course it is relevant. That glove is the key to this whole case. Yes, bluffing to the max. Now this is the Mr. Right I know. I'm so happy you're back, sir. I was wondering how long it'd take. This is great. Hmm, pressing people. Feels like I've done this before. As if I used to do this to squeeze information from even the, mo even the most tight-lipped people. Very well. If you are that convinced, let's hear some more about this matter. Actually, I brought the glove with me today. And? Why didn't you say so earlier? Hurry up and show the glove to this court. Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. Anyway, this is it, sir. It's, uh, rather yellow, isn't it? Baseball glove added to the court record. Officer Prince really liked the color yellow. And that's why you had to special order it? Yep, that's right. That and one other reason. I think this court has heard enough. It is clear that the victim and the defendant were involved with each other. Yes, that is correct, Your Honor. Now, if that is true, it brings up an important question. Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? I see your point, Your Honor. Detective Gumshoe, please tell the court a little more about your name on the ground. Yes, sir. We first looked into the handwriting, sir. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found out that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. There were also some scratches on the skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Hmm, yes, a perfectly logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. We first looked into the handwriting. But can you really determine handwriting based on a sample written in sand? Heh, <laughs> this is why amateurs are amateurs. We're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Scientific investigation in this country is actually pretty good. Hmm, I believe it's time to get back to the real point. Agreed, Your Honor. So, what was the result of the investigation? Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. So in the end, you couldn't confirm it? Hey, don't you look down on us. I told you, we're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Everyone knows you can't find everything you want with a scientific investigation. I've never heard that before. Me either. Nor I. I never heard anything like that at the police academy, sir. Oh, okay, so I made it up. Anyway. <laughs> Next, we check the victim's pointer finger. His pointer finger? You know, the one you're always pointing and waving around in people's faces. <laughs> Don't tell me it bothers you. Every time you do it, I have a mini heart attack. It's like you're trying to kill me, pal. In any, in any case, you examined the victim's index finger, correct? Yeah. We figured there should be something on his finger if he had been writing in sand. Hmm. And the results? We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. And what does that prove? Well, it proves that he did write that name with his own finger. Yes, which explains why there was sand stuck under his nail. I guess he's right. And there's more! There was also scratch marks on the skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. Scratches on his skin? Yep, you can't see them with your naked eye, but there there. That is incredible. Sure is, it's the power of scientific investigation. With the amount of times Gumshoe is saying scientific investigation, it reminds me of a certain character from the uh, fifth case of the first game, but I can't reference her yet because we haven't played that yet. I will, of course, play that after we finish the trilogy, by the way. I want to play all of the Ace Attorney games on this channel eventually. They're so small we had to use a magnifying glass, like a really strong one. It's got that really scientific-sounding name. 
You mean a microscope? Yeah, that's it! We used one of those, and that's how we found him. I can't believe this guy doesn't know what a microscope is. I mean, I'm an amnesiac, and even I know what a microscope is. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Are you absolutely sure? I believe in the power of science. Hmm. I wonder if my evidence is solid enough to counter with. Listen to this. Listening to this, you think there was only one conclusion. That the name was definitely written by the victim. But don't you think that would be really strange, sir? If Dustin really wrote that message with his right hand, do you think I would have gone through that much trouble to give him the, his present? The present? What about it? So for those who uh, don't know anything about baseball, which I don't know too much about baseball, it's just I know some very basic facts. For example, this baseball glove is meant to be worn on the right hand, which in baseball you want to wear a, glo a glove on your non-dominant hand because you need to catch it with the non-dominant hand and then throw it with your dominant hand, which you can't really do that well if you have a big giant glove on it. So typically, baseball gloves are meant to be worn on the left hand because, you know, a majority of people are right-handed. But since this one was custom-made and goes on the right hand, that means that Dustin was probably left-handed. By the way, uh, you yelling into the mic also works for presenting evidence. Objection. OBJECTION! Detective Gumshoe, take a look at this. That's a glove, right? Could you tell the court what is special about this glove? What's special? Um, never really thought about it, but, uh, it's really yellow. That's about it. Yes, it's really yellow, but that is only one of its qualities. Huh? There's another reason why it's special. And what would that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Left-handed? Why, you're absolutely right. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. That is why it had to be custom-made. I have never seen a bright yellow left-hander's glove for sale, have you? Well, um, no. So, detective, which hand did the victim use to write the name with again? That's easy. Look, it's obvious from the picture that it was his... W w wait a second! Don't forget that the victim was left-handed. <clears throat> ah! This is... This is... I mean, I... Object! <clears throat> Overruled. Mr. Wright, I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn. A left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore... The person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. Order, order. When you think about it that way, then yes. It is not possible that this name was written by the victim himself. Then, that means Maggie is... No. It's not possible! Mr. Payne. Y yes your honor the evidence proves that the, the evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you've proven her to be innocent. No! All right, you did it, Mr. Wright. Woo, I feel like I can breathe again. It seems that we have reached the conclusion. You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, Your Honor? Ah, well, thank you, sir. See, you got complimented by the judge again. You're really good. And that's why you can't give up being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to retire. I will now announce my verdict. This court finds the defendant Maggie Bird. <laughs> no, not yet. I mean, please give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. Oh, what is the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? The prosecution is not finished yet. What do you mean? We would like to call our next witness to the stand. What? And what did this witness... Witness? 
the moment the victim was pushed to his death. What's more, he saw the very face of the culprit. What the heck? Order. Order in the court. I believe a recess is in order. Afterward, we will hear from this new witness. I had a feeling that was a bit too easy. Hmm. I need more information. I'll have to see what I can find out during this recess. I can't let my guard down. It's only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess.